Hello again, YouTube. Truth Man here. So real short video. I need to talk about this. So what do you do when you do everything that's asked to you at work? And even then some, you do it well. But people just have a problem with you. That's what we finna talk about. I've experienced this many times, so I know. People on the outside looking in, they don't understand. They always gonna think that it's you it's something that you did. No, a lot of times it's these people. When we all come to work, we're supposed to all maintain a professionalism. We, we're not there. We're not getting paid to form opinions on one another. We're supposed to maintain the professionalism and whatever the job task is at hand that we're getting paid to do. We focus on that. But unfortunately, people abuse their authority because they ain't got they ain't got the most high in them. And a lot of them go to church and they still ain't got them. So this is why you always got to have more than one job. You always got to have more than one job. You always got to have more than one thing you do, more than one thing you like to do. Number one, because these people are evil and their intentions are not good on many occasions. So, a.k.a. Top 5 told me that he's a teacher and he has some issues because the teacher didn't like that the students liked him. The teacher didn't like that the students liked him. So... Well, no. So what they normally do is like just like in corrections, right? When the guys hate you, they do one of two things. It's like a double-edged sword. Either you get in trouble because the guys hate you because you do your job well, or you get in trouble because they like you and they wonder why they like you. I mean, it's you don't worry about that. Don't lose sleep over it. Don't think about these people, a.k.a. Just move on to something else. And I would suggest you do some gig work on the side. Build your money up. Kind of think about a business. Like if you ever had a business, what you would like to do. I know you probably like to teach. It's all right for you to keep doing that. But build up your reserves and build up your, your credentials so they'll lose their grip and their power. Because, I mean, when you the new guy, people just on these jobs, now they just do not, they don't treat you right. Like, it'll be, it's always going to be that person at the job that treats you good, that you get along with, but it's going to be those three that treat you bad because you know. That's what a lot of people is dealing with on these jobs, man. I'm telling you. It ain't nothing unusual. Don't don't let it affect your day outside of there. You know, don't let it affect your day outside of there. You got to be scrappy. Like, you got to be willing to do other things that just to get some extra money. Because these, I'm telling you, man, I could imagine if I just did corrections and nothing else. I would have to take a whole different approach than I was taking. Like, I had paper routes. I was delivering pizza. I always did something else. Always did something else to make the the cushion, if I fall, a little softer. Because I know how these people is. I know how these people is. Like, me personally, I judge people individually, but when it come to at work, I don't trust nobody, man. I've been dogged out in every which way you can think of at job. I'm telling you. And this last job, it was crazy. They had a problem with me. They wanted to downplay my experience. They wanted to downplay the fact that I have been doing correctional jobs just as long, if not longer, than they lieutenants, than they sergeants, some of them. So they wanted to, and then she called me a new Jack. I said, I'm new here. If I mean, if that's what you're talking about, 
I'm not a new jack to the position. Like she's retarded. And I don't, and I'm not talking about to me retardation is different. It's not like like what you think. I'm using that word with people who think ain't nothing wrong with them, but all type of stuff is wrong with them. I'm not talking about kids with mental defects and autism. Them people act better than a lot of the people I'm talking about. If you think I'm a new jack and I come in the door with 14 years experience, something wrong with you. But that's how they tried to treat me. And it's like, I told y'all, like, they'll be like, I ain't doing no phone list. F that phone list. And then they'll come back later. You got a phone list? I'm like. And with those guys, that's the number one problem you had with them was the phones. All they should have did was just make sure they get off when they supposed to. And make sure everybody get a chance. That's it. They, they should should have been able to get on them phones as much as they want. But that was a way that they created animosity between the new staff and the guys that was in there, the inmates. And if you if you don't have a phone list, eventually they gon' you're gonna get in trouble. If you do got a phone list, it's gonna be the source of your problem. I knew months before that, I said, this phone list is going to be the thing that's going to do me in. No, I didn't get fired. I quit. I just got tired of the double talk and the hypocrisy and, and, and just, and it wasn't everybody. It wasn't. It wasn't. The, the, the sergeant can slap a bottle out of a dude's hand and they don't do nothing. They don't do nothing. And the dude, one of the sergeants that was the biggest, one of the biggest problems, he told them, I don't give a F what happened. But with me, he was trying to ride me over every little thing. And I think he must have forgot that I was in there when that sergeant slapped that bottle out of the dude's hand and you came in there and said that. But then you want to ride me over little stuff that don't even matter. That was one of the reasons why I quit. It was a lot of stuff like that. You, I'm, I kid y'all not. The dude comes in. She slapped the bottle out of the guy's hand. Here's what happened. So the control center accidentally said the wrong dorm for the emergency. They said my dorm, but it wasn't on my dorm. It was on the dorm across the hall. And so she came in first. He didn't know what was going on because he knew it wasn't, wasn't nothing going on over there. So he was moving too slow and she slapped the bottle out of his hand. The other sergeant comes in and says, I don't give a F what happened. I'm thinking like, you shouldn't, you you don't gotta take side, but that ain't that ain't the right approach, man. But the same dude was riding me over everything. Like if a sock, if they left a sock out, which those dudes, if they want to get you in trouble, they knew they was riding me over everything, so they'd throw something out. Like like a police, a crooked police would throw some dope in somebody. Those dudes, I mean, it's funny now that I think about it, but that's the type of stuff they was doing. And so I figured it out. I was like, okay, well, if they come over here and they say anything to me about your area, you getting rode up. So he couldn't find nothing, so here's what he started doing. The same, I don't give a F what happened, dude. He started coming to the dorm and just standing outside. And the dude was like, why are you doing that, Howard? Why they be effing with you like that? They say, oh, they're just going to say anything and get in your head. No, it's a fact. They were effing with me. That's a fact. Don't try to downplay it because they saw it and they locked up. People make mistakes. 
Though some of those people at that job were effing with me. Just like AKA when you was over there at that school. That's how people be at these jobs. That's why in my mind, I'm one step ahead of them. I'm always one step ahead of them. If I work a job, it's a stepping stone. It's something I'm trying to do, something I'm trying to get. It's the stepping stone. I'm never retiring from no job. Never. 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 That mean me being around these people? I don't know what their spiritual beliefs are. I don't know what the access demons have to them. No. Just like when I was in Texas. When I was in Texas, they literally were getting on me for doing it the way I'm supposed to. Just like over there. When, when people out to get you, it don't matter if you're doing what you're supposed to. They're going to find a way. They're going to be looking for something. That's why I don't, don't tell me nothing about these jobs. Some of these jobs, I'd rather do something illegal than work there. I'm just telling you flat out. And some of these jobs, if it ever come down to it, illegal. So, they wanted me to let the, 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 the inmates that were in the halfway house count supplies with, with sharp stuff, utensils, chemicals. So they'll be like, they, she was trying to set me up. Like she'll send them out there. Oh, uh, they, they got to help. Like, I'll be like, help me do what? Well, she want, I'm all I'm doing is counting the supply. Well, she want me to help you. You can't count supply. So they'll go back in there and be like, well, he said I couldn't help him. So she uh, will go tell the boss. And, and I'm like, how do y'all expect me to let them count supplies? What if they make weapons? What if they make something and try to get high? I said, I said, uh, TJJD, that's against the rule. He says he don't care. And it ended up being a thing where she starts seeing that he was tired of the back and forth between us. He had the nerve to tell me, I already told you what I'm going to do about him. So to make a long story short, man, just everybody just do what you need to do on your jobs and don't worry about it. Have other stuff going where you can quit if that's what you need to do.